Where's the hole? <laughs> no. <laughs> something very different that <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> something, <laughs> something, <laughs> we're gonna do something very different or somewhat different just different and we're going to let us let you do it take it do it <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be letting you guys uh, a little bit deeper into our childhood and so yeah, story. <laughs> story time. I was around maybe five or six, and we used to live in like quite a big house. But the passage was like really, really, really long. And because like the rest of the house was here, and there was like a long passage, and then the rest of the house was here. So it was basically like. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I used to be really, really scared of going, walking down the passage in the dark. Not because of the dark, oh my but Sorry. because my mom had a cat <laughs> that used to stalk me, chase me, and then catch me. And um, it was really funny because I used to like sit at the beginning of the passage and my mom was like, go to bed. And I'd be like, no. And she'd be like, why? And then I'd be like, because the king's gonna catch me. <laughs> so I'd be like, and then she'd come with me and then I'd like, charge down the passage and the cat would see me and literally like go down on all fours and then like start stalking me and then they'll get faster and faster until she's full on running towards me and I'd be going That's terrifying ah! <laughs> down, down the passage. That would scare me even though. <laughs> like, Pixie ever did that. <laughs> it would be. No, no, no. My mom used to, mom used to just like <laughs> stop at the end of the passage and just like wet herself. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, so you still keep going. Ah! And the cat going, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> okay, so I was around five or six. And. <laughs> Why did you already? Because <laughs> I didn't go until the end of Dude, everything bad happened when I was five or six. Anyway, I was around five or six, and um, I used to play a game with my grandfather and my brother. Shout out to my grandfather and my brother, probably watching this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we used to play a game called Time Travel. It's actually, we adapted it from a book, from what I know, so if I mess things up, that's due to the fact that I don't know everything. But we used to play the game Time Travel. My granddad would take us into his room, and he'd tell us, like, okay, where are we going today? And then we'd tell him where we're going, and he'd make the whole situation, and it would be like a game for us. And it was really fun. I remember it. I loved it so much. And we went on holiday to the beach, and... We were sitting on the beach and he decided, let's play time travel. Okay, so we're on the beach now. And he saw a piece of driftwood and he pointed to it and he's like, look, it's a dolphin, it's washed up on the beach, what do we do? So my brother, Andrew, said, <laughs> started freaking out being like, call a vet, call the ambulance, get some, like, get a bucket, put some water on it, and all this stuff. And then my granddad looked at me and he's like, Maggie, what, 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 what should we do? What do you think we should do? I kid you not, I said, and I quote this, you can ask all of my family, I'll put pictures and screenshots of when they proved it to me. I said, call a priest. <laughs> there is no hope for this dolphin. <laughs> call a priest. <laughs> uh, top that. <laughs> Why a priest? Because the dolphin's dead. But you don't know he's dead. No, but I'm saying like there's no hope for it, it's gonna <laughs> die. Just call a priest. Story. His winner was about 11, 10 or 11, somewhere around there. And um, my friend, my friend Ruth, used to like live across town, and I used to go visit her every now and then. And um, she, they had horses, and the one horse, they didn't like riding because she was really like skittish in a way. But yeah, and then we all decided to go and ride. And me being me. She was really pretty, so I chose the prettiest horsey. <laughs> I got on to her, and we, it was fine. It was going fine, because like, I think I just got along with her a bit. Oh, yeah, 
But anyway, and then we came around the corner, and I was like quite a while in front, and we were like cantering along the the verge of the road on the grass, and then the bush like ruffled, and then all of a sudden there's the freaking birds. And she was like, oh my god! <laughs> the horse. <laughs> and then she stopped like that, like drink. And then, and the, the like, the field over there, um, a tractor backfired at the same time. And that was, that was the end of it. We were like, <laughs> off at like, 100 kilometers an hour. Down like, a little tiny little path. And I was looking back, because, you know, I didn't want to be left on my own with a crazy horse. So, yeah, and then as I looked forward, um, there was like a low lying branch, and then went like it hit me in the head, and I came off. But, <laughs> but then I didn't just come off, I came off, but then my brain was like, oh my god, I want to stay on. So, let's what, what do we do? We grab the horse's tail, <laughs> and I grabbed onto the tail, I was like, no, and then she kept on, <laughs> she carried on for quite for a little bit, and then it stopped. And then she sort of like looked between her legs, like, What the hell are you doing down there? <laughs> no, I can't see <laughs> And then um, my friends caught up with me and they started wetting themselves. <laughs> and the funniest part was when one of their horses made a, like, they sneezed, but it sounded like they were laughing, and then we all just laughed really hard. It was, it was hilarious. But yeah, the part that got to me afterwards was like, Why grab the tail? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, I was, I don't, uh, I actually have no idea how old I was. My mom says I was about three or four, and we had been going to the shops and walking around. I had been walking since I was a lot younger anyway. And we were walking around the shops, and we walked past this mother and her kid, and her kid was on the floor and throwing a tantrum and screaming and crying because he wanted a chocolate. Right, so, um, you know what story this is, that's why you're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, I saw it, and then a mo his mother eventually gave in, obviously, because who would tolerate it? I'd kill it, I'd probably kill it. <laughs> anyway, and so she ended up getting in the chocolate. And so, in my three year old brain, I registered, so this is how it works. So, dear parents out there, if you have a child that's throwing a tantrum, at least pick it up and take it outside because you're ruining every other parent's like, life for this thing. I... no. <laughs> a few days later, I wanted something. I don't know what it was. I don't know anything about it. But... So I figured this is the perfect time. Let's put this plan that I learned in the mall the other day into action. So I lay down on the floor. <laughs> I lay down on the floor. And that was it. <laughs> That's all I did. <laughs> I didn't scream. I didn't kick, I didn't cry, I did nothing, I just lay there <laughs> with my head down in silence <laughs> and people would come past the house like my grandparents and stuff and they'd see me just lying on the floor and they'd be like, is she, is she okay? And my mom would be like, yeah, no, just step over her. <laughs> so people would just step over me and after like 10 minutes or so I'd get over it and be like, eh, no, we'll go away. <laughs> your, your three year old brain was stupid. Like <laughs> My every old brain was stupid. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I'm... Did you not notice that they were also screaming and crying? I thought that was like, like, not compulsory. I thought it was like <laughs> a choice. Like you didn't have to. Is there like, I think, like it's a class lesson or something that you have no, to do? No, I didn't think it was like, like if there's like question one, two, and three of the homework. Like, <laughs> the screaming and kicking was question three that I didn't think I had to do. <laughs> End of story time. <laughs> okay. So there you have it, there's a little bit deeper into our childhood, <laughs> and so... Stupid childhood, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Jim Blocking. laughs> okay, yeah, so, um, I hope you enjoyed, give it a like if you did, if you didn't, give it a like. <laughs> <laughs> comment below. Please give a comment. On videos you want to see. Yeah, because like, this is actually like, well, her idea. I presume, I presume that it was last minute, I'm not sure about it, but like a lot of our things are like... I had a brain freeze when I got the idea. That says a lot about my ideas. <laughs> Alright, if you haven't yet, join our wolf pack. Ow! <laughs> uh, yeah, if you haven't yet,
Yeah, join our wolfpack, and if you do, you will automatically become a wolfling. Whether that's demeaning or not, I don't care. That's what you are. Hello? <laughs> Everybody is going to join our wolfpack! Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Baby. No, okay, quit. You can quit. I hurt myself. You can do the outro. No, but we already did that. Nah. <laughs> Say bye. Yeah, we need ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's new. <laughs> <laughs>